This is a podcast from Torvine Voluntary Alliance. Hello, I'm Patrick Downs. Welcome to Word from the Third, where we'll be taking a look at all the big stories and news from the third sector here in Torvine. So on Word from the Third today, I'm joined by Klinos Parry from the Stroke Association. Now, can you tell me how you got involved with the Stroke Association? Uh, yes, uh, good morning. So um, I've been with the Stroke Association now for the past 11 years, and um, I initially got involved following a well a, a couple of incidents to be honest um my friend and my grandmother had a stroke and uh, it was really quite timely i saw a, a role come up um i applied for it and was lucky enough to get it um but stroke is very much a a priority um for, for me not just because i work for the stroke association but because of the personal links um and also the understanding of of how devastating strokes can be not only for the individual but also for the for the wider family and carers and also the wider circle of friends what exactly does the stroke association do then so in wales um the stroke association has a a number of of elements to it so we provide services um services that are commissioned either by health boards or by local authorities um across wales uh and those services start upon discharge from hospital they are services that provide help information support advice to stroke survivors and also their carers we also have community groups and activities and the the groups that the spread out across the whole of Wales and they're either face-to-face or more nowadays virtual groups um, because of the pandemic and we are going to be continuing with this model going forward. We also have activities across Wales again, um, various activities which are for example golf, bowls, um, art therapy, choirs, singing lessons, seated exercise, a whole host of other activities as well. I suppose the subject of stroke is quite timely at the moment with the coverage on on Emmerdale with Marlon's story, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. So Marlon's story is um, is quite typical of of, um, strokes and what we see on a day-to-day basis and the struggles that stroke survivors have following a stroke and also the wider impact on on his carer, on the programme, um, and also the way that the wider family have, have got involved in the care. His stroke focuses on not just the physical but also on the communication uh, so we've we've heard of uh, Bruce Willis recently he's had uh, a diagnosis of aphasia now Marlon on the program also has aphasia which is communication difficulties following a stroke so what would you say would be the most rewarding aspect of what you do most rewarding aspect is knowing that you do make a difference um families quite often are you know completely devastated stroke um for stroke survivors also the stroke happens in a second it changes your life in a second um there's no warning quite often there's no warning um and there's no build up to it and the devastation is is something that uh, has it strikes immediately and it has a, a long term um effect so our work um and our support that the uh, our coordinators and office is able to provide. They help stroke survivors and their carers to to rebuild their lives after stroke. They uh, they get involved in in goal setting um, to increase confidence, to reduce social isolation, um, increase independence, and try and get people back to how they were either before the stroke, maybe not the entirely the way they were before the stroke but to some degree um how they were before the stroke and uh, you know the small steps it, it's just so rewarding for stroke survivors um to be able to achieve those little steps um and to see them you know see them grow now if i got a grant a wish for the stroke association what would that be? I think, you know, what we are aiming for is fewer strokes, um, fewer strokes and fewer people being impacted by the devastation of stroke. Um, and we, we do a lot of work on research and uh, across Wales and also across the UK uh, looking into strokes. There are some really innovative um, medication out there and also treatments out there that can reduce the impact of a stroke. Um, but I think, you know, as 
as an organisation, I think, you know, our main aim is to be for less people to have a stroke and be devastated by it. If people want to learn more and they want to get in touch, what do they need to do? They can they can either go on our website, which is stroke.org.uk, or they can make contact with us in um, at the Stroke Association. And if they want to make contact with, with my team, then the team is community steps at stroke.org.uk. Claire Sparry from the Stroke Association. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. And don't forget, if you want to contact TVA, Torvine Volunteer Alliance for anything regarding the third sector here in Torvine. Get in touch regarding funding, volunteering, any kind of support or governance. Info at tvawales.org.uk. You can also find us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at TVA Wales or of course on the website. It's all there at tvawales.org.uk. This podcast is produced by TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance. <laughs>